If you lived in this house, would you survive an earthquake? In moments, you'll find out. Eighty million Americans live in earthquake zones. Three stories fell on top of us, and for some reason, we were, God saved us. We punched our way out of the wall, and we got out. Every 10 years, somewhere in the U.S., a major quake strikes. No warning, no escape. No one could do anything about it. Until now. This is the Kneeswood Project. The Kneeswood Project is a very close-knit group of researchers. And together, uh, we work very closely to uh, make the world a better place. John Vandalint is the principal investigator of the Network for Earthquake Engineering Simulation, a collaboration of scientists from 15 of America's best universities. Using state-of-the-art hydraulics, they will subject this house to the awesome power of the 1994 Northridge quake. January 17th, 1994, 4.30 a.m. Just north of Los Angeles, the San Andreas Fault trembles. It runs 800 miles through California, beneath some of America's biggest cities. When it moves, all hell breaks loose. In Northridge, it measured 6.7 on the Richter scale and caused $10 billion worth of damage. This was the part of the house that suffered the most damage on the exterior. Hector Butrago's family escaped unharmed, but not their house. Uh, this wall over here had to be uh, completely replaced. In fact, I remember coming out that morning and actually being able to see from here all the way to the back of the house because the wall had opened up and portions of the fireplace were missing. And that was very scary to me at that time because a few moments before, while the shaking was going on, my wife and my daughter and I were sleeping in the house. The Northridge quake lasted mere seconds, but wreaked havoc. Within hours, teams of structural engineers began assessing the damage. Among them, LA building inspector Nick Delacuadri. It was important to us to understand why these buildings fail and what we could do to improve the type of construction and uh, engineering behind these buildings. 99% of California's houses are made of wood. Because of their strength to weight ratio, they stand up to quakes better than any other dwelling. But over the last hundred years, earthquakes have destroyed thousands of wood homes. Most wood frame buildings, they're very strong and very safe buildings. But in the future, what we need to do is continue to learn from research and come up with better designs that are safer, safer for our children and their children. That same goal drives John Vandalint and the Kneeswood team. At the University of Buffalo, New York, 
they've built one of the biggest vibrating platforms in the country. On it, they'll conduct the largest full-scale shake ever attempted in America. The guinea pig is a typical home, built to California building codes and bolted firmly to two shake tables. During an earthquake, the ground moves from side to side and violently trembles. The shake tables can mimic this movement. So here we are in the trench that houses the twin earthquake shake tables. Together, they're capable of producing a magnitude eight earthquake. Perhaps more impressive is that they can throw around 200,000 pounds, which is the equivalent of a herd of 100 elephants. High performance hydraulics let the tables move in almost any direction, as fast as they like. For this shake, the tables are set to replicate a magnitude 6.7 quake the same force that rocked Northridge. The, the power of an earthquake is, is tremendous. You feel the ground move underneath you. It, it moves in three, three directions. The, the energy released is equivalent to, to hundreds, if not thousands, depending on the magnitude of atomic bomb blasts and cause the, the earth to actually vibrate. To acquire as much data as possible on the effects of the shape, the team has fit house with more than 250 sensors and high-speed cameras. So here we are inside the house. The, it's decorated like a typical family's home, except that there's displacement gauges everywhere, and those displacement gauges will gather data, and that data will enable engineers to build safer homes for society. Four years of meticulous planning will culminate in a tremor lasting mere seconds. They have only one chance to get it right. I think there'll be significant damage to the structure and this could be perhaps the, one of the best data sets ever gathered on wood frame construction. Please stand by as I speak. Fifteen seconds. I think we should applaud the building. No problem. Uh, really, really, really well. The building actually did, did fantastic. I mean, we, we expected a lot more damage for a two-story house like this. I think, uh, uh, you know, I think it did really well, but the flower pots, obviously. <laughs> Still standing, but just a facade of safety. Inside, devastation. A child asleep in this room could have been severely injured. During the Northridge quake, damage like this claimed 51 lives. A few seconds of shaking has displaced the entire house. Now, it leans forward. If this were a real home, it would be unsafe to live in. So here we are on the second level of the house. Uh, it's complete uh, carnage behind me. I could barely make it through uh, to the balcony here. 
We, uh, we've successfully gathered 250 channels of data and we'll begin processing that data immediately to make homes like this safer for families in the future. Now comes the hard work. It will take months to analyze all the data. When they finish, they'll share the results with the world.